welcome to Join the Anarchy, the interactive, improvised Shadowrun Anarchy campaign here live on Twitch, Shadowcasters Network. What's up? That was a good intro. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? It was pretty. It was, that yeah. was snappy. Was good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank I you. Thank you. It. <laughs> so, hi everybody. How are we? How are we doing? We, we love it. Oh yeah. First, first comment. Woot! Thank you, Lysa. <laughs> that was a windy woot. Is it pronounced yeah. woot or or hoot? Hoot. Woot. Hoot. It depends on the breed of owl. Speaking of Logan, welcome back. How you doing? Hey, hey I'm doing great. I'm very happy that you guys. Well, that I've uh, made my character important enough to stick around for two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, when everything goes south, <laughs> we kind of need to be like, uh, mm, hi. <laughs> you need to come back. But also, <laughs> like... we love you. And you're never oh, allowed to leave. No. Say goodbye to your other show, Logan. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, never, but... <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> um, speaking of shows, Oz, what is this? Welcome to Join the Anarchy. This is a completely improvised and interactive Shadowrun Anarchy campaign, as I said. Uh, basically, um, we're gonna be playing the narrative version of Shadowrun um, called Anarchy, which we find to be way better. And <laughs> we are going to uh, basically make it up as we go. We've had this campaign going for now, we're on our 12th episode and we're excited to continue. And uh, yeah, so what we do is we are paying attention. We're monitoring chat as we play. And every time, as you guys are in chat, typing away your suggestions, like you're at an improv show, we're going to consider them. And then if we really like it, we'll take it and incorporate it into the story. And then we get a plot point for use in the game for bringing in your suggestion. And uh, you get a raffle ticket for giving us a great suggestion, and that raffle ticket could earn you $15 on Drive-Thru RPG, which is enough to buy yourself a copy of Shadow and Anarchy or any other fun indie RPG you might be interested in. Cool. Aside from that, we also have the stream boss right up there. Uh, whittle it down every time that you support our channel. And if you kill the stream boss, your name is in lights. We all get a point of edge, which can be used to reroll stuff. And um, and the last stream boss at the very end of the game of the session tonight will get to create an NPC with me. Our last stream boss was Gray Man, and he has created and well created or possibly embellished upon a previously established NPC. Oh my. Neat. <laughs> Nifty. So uh get it, get it, Travis. It's, it's a birthday. Get it, get it, it's, it's a birthday. every other Monday. <laughs> yes. Um, for those of you who are mentioning that Deliverance is invisible or looks very like a much like a leathery chair tonight, um, she will be with us in hmm, probably approximately 30 minutes. She's taking care of mom's stuff. And, uh, Deliverance and, is yeah. being her. She's being Deliverance. She's got huh. mom stuff to do. You know. Mom stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so while, uh, while we, uh, I'm gonna adjust a couple of minor things here that I didn't do, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and talk to our other players. Introduce our guest, our returning guest, Onyx. Uh, otherwise known as Logan from Very Random Encounters Podcast. How are you tonight? I'm doing so good. Yes. I'm just excited to play some more Onyx. I mean, I'm excited to have you back. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> um, all right, so, ooh, that's, sorry. Uh, what have you so done? tell me, <laughs> nothing, nothing happened. So tell me about, um, tell me about your, uh, your podcast, who you are, what you do, and then tell me about Onyx. So yeah, I'm one of four co-hosts of Very Random Encounters. We uh, play pen and paper RPGs and randomize as many things as possible. Um, currently, I'm DMing uh, the, the season we're on right now, which is an anime-based season, uh, taking place in a post-post-post-apocalyptic world, which, you know, Shadowrun viewers would probably dig that. You know? <laughs> uh, and... Yeah, we come out weekly every Monday, very random encounters, and it's queer as hell and fun. Yeah. Onyx is also queer as hell. <laughs> uh, 
he's just like a really good dude. And he loves his husband <laughs> and he loves his kids. And you know, one time he, he kicked a guy out of a van, but it was because it you know, he was endangering his kids. So it's pretty justified in that regard, <laughs> I would say. Think of the children. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he was doing. He would do anything for his kids. That's one of his what are those called? Cues. I do anything for my kids. <laughs> okay. Uh, next, Fritz. <coughs> Yo, what's up? Had to get no, that one out. No. Uh, it's 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 your boy, uh, Travi Trav, uh, novice voice actor and professional roadkill. Uh, my <laughs> character's name is Fritz, a German elf technomancer with a lot of PhDs. Um, and he is just super socially awkward, unlike me, who is just socially inept. <laughs> Glowing self-review. And <laughs> uh, Paige. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Paige. I play Voltar. Uh, she is a completely cybernetic badass that can punch people and flip them with their legs. Uh... Uh, uh, that she's she's a thing. I can't <laughs> nailed it. We've only been doing it for twelve episodes. <laughs> she's uh she's uh part of Ares Corporations, and um currently she has gone through some not rehabilitation but some long thoughts <clears throat> naps because uh the last time that the group has seen Walter. She kind of fainted on a submarine after an Ares soldier called her Victor. So, that's a thing. Yes. Yes, it is. Should so, I? I was gonna say, should I talk about myself more? What's going no, on? No, no, no. I think that's. I think that's fair. I think that's good. Yeah, no, I'll, um, I'll shut up. <laughs> so, previously on Join the Anarchy. Uh, even though you got a couple of a couple of hints about what occurred uh, to catch you all up, the team minus Voltar was contracted for a job to expose a conspiracy uh, going all the way up to City Hall, where they are basically feeding drugs into the lunches at public schools in an attempt to make them look like corrupt hotbeds, um, ruining America's youth and uh, shutting them down in, uh, basically shut them down in Detroit and make all schools privatized for profit. Uh, so they were contracted by, um, by a Johnson who uh, basically found out that this is probably, this is alleged, this is a thing that, uh, that, that basically the information was found out because of hookers uh, and hookers uh, uh, brought this to the attention of the pimp slash info broker slash uh, philanthropist scrumptious who uh, has connections in the media and wants to blow this wide open. So the team is contracted to find the evidence that will incriminate James, James Bloodworthy the super yeah the superintendent which uh, while i was listening to the episode again i realized i didn't give him that monopoly voice that everyone kept telling him to give him and i'm i apologize for that <laughs> fritz your your mic is muted still muted so uh <laughs> yeah, let me see let me see let me see what else okay so they make their way into downtown detroit which was a hassle in and of itself disguised as uh pizza, street pizza marketeers, and they found themselves in a bit of a pickle when they tried to infiltrate uh, City Hall. Uh, Deliverance did pretty well. She was able to eavesdrop on a conversation when she astral projected into their office, but Fritz, who uh, logged into the Matrix, started off strong until he glitched and caused a whole bunch of whoop ass to come down on him and almost got the entire team caught. Um, Onyx, in an attempt to save himself as the radius of detection, uh, was slowly 
<laughs> was slowly uh, targeting his van moving through Detroit, basically uh, pushed Fritz out of the van and Deliverance had to go and rescue him. And then eventually they basically, they, there was a, and there was some little bit of a minor fallout there, but Fritz understood and uh, yeah. Onyx came back to rescue. It was weird because Fritz was super understanding for having just been kicked out of a moving van. <laughs> Fritz is an interesting guy. <laughs> yeah. So, and yeah, and so now they are basically at the tail end of a failure, really. And uh, the job, there was no time limit on it, but the sooner they can get this conspiracy done, the f more kids that they can save um, from getting hooked on special sauce. Man, now that name's being workshopped. I want, I want the drug to be phonics now. <laughs> <laughs> hooked on phonics. Uh, I'm hearing like very background y noise. Is. That's you. It's, you're good. It's you. I know, but is it? It's it you're good. Working? I can hear you. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you, uh, whatever you did, <laughs> I'm muting yourself. <laughs> yeah, he's. <laughs> All right. Well, while Fritz is uh, figuring out what has fritzed his microphone, um, <laughs> let's. <laughs> well, Fritz is having a mental breakdown. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh let's talk back to um let's go back to Voltar. Oh yay, that's me. Let's catch up with that's Voltar. Me. What what have you So let's see. So where have you been uh where have you been healing? Ga after Gage uh, uh whisked you away from that job where you got shot at really quite a lot. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I got a lot of rubber bullets in me. Um I don't know where would Gage take me? Would he um, take me back to the facility that I'm staying in, or would he take me back that. to like his place? <laughs> would he take oh, me no. back to his place? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. All right, we're gonna say he takes you back to the um My home. to the Dearborn factory. Yeah, the the old Ford plant, um, yeah. where you're basically like on a on a cot in a dark room hooked up to like IVs and stuff and when you when you when you come to um it's been about a f week or so of just bed rest ooh ouch okay week or two of bed rest yeah i've never personally been in that position but that must suck yeah, so I think, uh, I think Voltar would, uh, once she's awake, is anybody around her? Um, the only person that would be there are maybe some guards, some of the hired help that, um, that keep your place, uh, secure from onlookers. Yeah. yeah. Um, but if you were to, as soon as you come to, um, and that gets reported to Gage, Gage will walk in. Gage, your weapons dealer. And says, ah, you're awake. That's good. What happened? Well, um, we were shot at quite a bit, but if it's any consolation, you did really well. You and your team. Oh. You're welcome. Yeah. We were able to basically get that, uh, that pesky bullet cult caliber out of our way. Uh, so they're, they'll no longer be interfering in our shipments. If they are, I will deal with them again. She'll try to um, actually sit up and kind of play with her tubing that's sticking out of her. Mm -hmm. That's hooked up to the IV, so. Mm. 
I'm mean, gonna take it easy for maybe another night or so. We'll until we get uh, we get our dock in and check you out again. She'll just nod at that and uh, be very distant. I imagine that she would be really quiet and like just lost in thought for a while. But she'll give him a nod and she'll lay back down then. You must be really hungry. We've been feeding you through a tube this whole time. And that's when you notice, like, the, the empty bag of, like, oatmeal, that, like, mushy oatmeal-y stuff yeah. that they, like, shove through a tube into your stomach. Hey! Resub! Thanks, nice. Palmer. Good job. You did it. <laughs> um, yeah, she'll, uh, yeah, she'll nod at that. Yes, I am... I do not like being hooked up like this in one place. Uh, boom, Nick Morgan has become our stream boss. <laughs> so, so everybody gets a point of edge. Stop it, guys. <laughs> All thank right. you. Thank you. Thanks, that Nick. That edge is going to be well, well needed. Mm -hmm. All right, so, um, so you were saying you don't, you don't like being in bed. Yeah, I don't like being hooked up, stayed in one place for too long. Well, I'm pretty sure we can get you off the feeding tube now that you're able to, you know, consciously chew. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, she'll, uh, she'll kind of set up again then, but she'll lean against the wall behind her, because if she's on a cot, then there's no bed rest, so. Over the next, um, few hours before you get the doctor, to, before you get a doctor to show back up, or when they get a doctor to show back up, um, Gage uh, basically spends um, a good few hours or so showing you like his new catalog of stuff that you can buy. So you got lots of new fancy weapons and weapon accessories, um, lasers, like the laser um, laser pointers, yes. oh, silencers. Laser pointers. <laughs> I get excited with lasers. I like laser guns. They're fun. Yeah. Um, I have. Silencer, sniper rifles, scopes, Ooh, so um, smart weapons, etc. So yeah, lots of uh, stick and shock ammo. So it's electric, Ooh. electric ammo. It just it sticks to them and then <laughs> fries them. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I yeah. have I've, I haven't had personal experience, but my five uh, E campaign that I play in, our blood mage of that group, uh, nearly died to one. <laughs> so yeah. I know that very well. <laughs> Um, plus, like, lots of other things, grenades, um, yeah, yeah, lots nice. and lots of, of weaponry, and he just shows you the different models and brands and gives you, like, you know, the, the, the benefits and, and detriments of each, and basically you can go ahead and shop for whatever weapon you would like that would be in his arsenal. Yes. Um, like I unlocked a huge different other campaign like accessory because I beat that one side mission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so when the doctor finally arrives, uh, they are able to get you out of the um, get you off IV, feed you some you know mush, but still you can eat. Um, and over the course of the next few days, you're able to just sit back up and, and be back on your feet. Sweet, yeah. I think most of the day she'll just be relaxed thing. Um, <clears throat> I think she's, she's gonna be quiet for the most days. Like I said, she's gonna be really lost in thought and she's going through this thought process of what she remembers of this this Victor character, if she even knows who it is, um, but not coming up with anything. It's just blank. It's all white noise to her. I'm at this point, you get a phone call from Copper. I will answer immediately. Oh, good. I heard that you're back up and. And uh, back and ready to go for more action. I'm glad to see that you're doing okay. I Thank heard your condition you. was stable, so that's why I 
you know, I, I've had a quite a busy week. I've actually uh, I went over to Neo Tokyo for the week, so I'm sorry I wasn't able to stop in and say hello. Why were you there? Oh, business meetings. The Japan uh, I courts. can't believe I'm can't believe I'm going to say this, but can I roll uh, sense motive? Sense motive. Ooh. Attention. Hold on, my camera. Judge are... intention. I love my camera. Okay, there we go. Uh, judge intentions. Yes, go for it. Yeah. So that's uh, that logic is... plus charisma. Uh, first charisma. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've looked at this. Nine, three successes. Hmm. I'm comfortable with that. Um, you've long learned to take copper um, at face Truthfully, value. Yeah. He is he has no particular reason to lie to you as your father. Um, yeah. But at the same time, he's purposefully vague. He's the kind of guy that holds a lot of cards close to his chest, and he's not going to tell you more than he needs to let on. So um, you trust that he was in Neo Tokyo and for business meetings, but you don't know for to what ends. The real full story, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, she'll just nod. Yes, lots of rubber bullets do not do well with organs. Hmm. Well, traditionally, you uh, you need organs to survive. Yes. You need some essence left. Yeah. And actually, you see, <laughs> you see behind him like this super Japanicorpy um, oh. setup. You know, it's you, you. That's when you finally start noticing all of the like the um, um, what are those called? The lattice thingies. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. You notice it. It looks. <laughs> it looks like Japan behind him. There. Okay. <laughs> Um, so, all right, well, um, I'll be, you know, you, you take as much bed rest as you need, uh, you know, and when you're, whenever you're ready to hop back in, you know, uh, just don't let me stop you. I'll, I'll be, I'll be around. I'll always be in contact, but, um, for now I won't be, I'll kind of be off the grid for a little bit. That didn't make any sense. Uh, like, I'll be, I'll yeah, be busy. Yeah, I, I, I understood it, though. Yeah, he, he won't, he'll, he'll be in contact, but he'll be a mm -hmm. kind of full, his hands will be full. My god, I can't speak. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, she'll, uh, she'll nod and, and uh, take a few minutes and she'll finally just, uh, kind of look at him a little bit and wait. Father, do you know anyone by the name of Victor? What do you ask? I recently heard it from someone. I know lots of Victors. Have yeah, I need to be more specific. One. Have I met one at all? I wouldn't know. Have I been called Victor in the past? <sighs> Voltar. Your past was purposefully erased. Stop asking questions. It's for your own yes, good. Father. I am ready to work then. What I can assure you is that your you are you are better now. You are everything that you and I want you to be. Uh, 
I understand. <clears throat> All right, well. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. It would it would compromise certain things. Uh I this isn't uh I suppose you do have the right to know. Uh, once, once upon a time, yes, you you were my son, Victor. I don't understand. It's okay. Just, I, I probably shouldn't have said it, but. I would rather be up front with you than for you to mistrust me and my intentions. It's, I suppose it would be pointless for me to say to not think about it and not worry about it at this point. We'll talk about this for more when I get back home. Very well. But ideally, I would prefer if you make a conscious effort to ignore that information. If yes. you find it troubling, we can, well. if you find it troubling enough, we can go back to the memory erasure procedure. No. I will on from it. Good. All right, well. And he like the the yeah. call just ends. Walter's going to punch the wall next to her. Poof. <laughs> it cracks little chunks of concrete come down um, and she'll stand up and uh, if there's any IVs in her she'll just take those out mm -hmm. well now that you're back up um, you notice uh, now that you're a little more conscious and, and able uh, you notice there was a, a message from uh today, really, uh, trying to see if you could join uh, Fritz and Deliverance on a run. Yeah. Well, they, so that was earlier today. And then <laughs> around two o'clock, you get a message that says, where are you? Run went <laughs> sideways. Um, she'll send back uh basically uh just woke up how about you <laughs> like how are you <laughs> everybody okay <laughs> like uh well one second trav how are you doing he looks really frustrated oh. and you wouldn't know onyx no unless 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 we're unless. both like uh -huh. Uh -huh. unless i Nothing. What? Are, <laughs> you know Onyx? Give me. <laughs> no, I think I think like the. I don't know what Oz is thinking, but what I was thinking is that, um, both uh like Fritz and Deliverance are kind of out busy. Maybe I don't know. I don't. I wasn't there for the last hour, so I don't know how everybody was damaged. But maybe I mean, someone needs to be healed or something. So you're the only one, and they're like, "Hey, contact our buddy." <laughs> I mean, Travis. Like, I, I kicked uh, Fritz <laughs> out of a van, so I feel like Fritz would be in a hospital, right? Like, you don't just, like, walk <laughs> like, that off. Like, a don't go to the hospital. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even I know that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, no, don't assume that I know anything about <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm I, sorry. I, I'm just saying that Fritz would need some sort of medical attention. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe, so, no? so cut back, maybe, well, yes, but no. I feel like, 
I feel like Fritz is the type of person who's like, I'm fine. And then, like, Deliverance is like, no, you're not. Like, let me fix your leg. (laughs) Yeah, if anything, uh, you guys are back at Deliverance's comic book shop. And Deliverance is doing just, you know, magical healing. Um, But, you know, it's a slow process. Um, And... Deliverance looks over at, at you, Onyx, and says, uh, listen, could could you could you just type to her for me? I'm in <laughs> kind of in the middle of something. Uh, you know, just just get her over here. Her name is Voltar. Voltar, get over here. <laughs> uh she'll just send back location, question mark. Uh, is there like a find my friends location? <laughs> Send- <laughs> yes, yes, you can ping your, you can ping her com link. There you go. Uh, Walter will be kind of confused that I do, uh, I do deliverance. Like Onyx didn't know how to do that <laughs> <laughs> on on Deliverance's phone. So <laughs> there's a little comedic scene of it be like, how do you? This phone is too big. <laughs> like, <laughs> why is it so big? I don't. <laughs> oh, oh, honey, you you push that. Oh, oh, god. Okay, hold on. Oh no, I, just, I really need it. to concentrate. No, I really need to concentrate. Just, okay. just give her. Just say Route sixty six. Route, just the whole road. <laughs> no, six D six. Did you see the sign? <laughs> That's the name of our Catholic store. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like the square root symbol and then six D six. Yeah. Like the That's like very the dice. Clever. It yeah. is still absolutely what Onyx said though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh so he he like looks at the sign and then sends that like Just I imagine like Imagine for Voltar, like if it's on if it's like an iPhone, you see like the three little dots, like they're messaging each other. And she just waits. And immediately, like, she's like continually like staring at it, and so she goes, "Okay, something probably happened where she can't really text with both hands or something." So she'll like immediately head out, uh, <laughs> pull on her uh, leather jacket, and uh, head that way. She'll uh, take out her. She'll do her. Actually, no, everybody's okay with her leaving, so she'll just leave normally. She's not gonna sneak out. By the way, you also get a message from Bro saying Voltar saying that um, God, Swoller Bear, safe? yeah, Swoller Bear, uh, you know, basically, I, I got Swoller Bear to agree to uh, postpone the match. Oh, good. Because I hear you, you know, I hear you down. Not feeling up to it. It wouldn't be a fair fight, you know. Yeah, she'll send back like thank you and. Really appreciate it. I'm off bed right now, but I have a job to do. Yeah, right, sure, thanks. sure, sure. It's gonna be next week, so no worries. She'll send up a thumbs e- thumbs up emoji. That's hard to say and well the fast Jesus. Um <laughs> So yes, yeah, she'll head immediately to Route sixty six. Oh Okay. Yep. Alright. <laughs> uh everyone's cams are gonna be like super messed up right now, sorry. Um, all right, so, um, cool. So, all right, so you're gonna go to, hey, we got a deliverance. Hey, <laughs> God, everyone's some, everyone's, everyone's all in the wrong positions. This is, uh, really <laughs> uh, <laughs> your OCD's kicking it. Yeah, are we, am I Travis? Am I, am I, you are, you or? are, yes, Paige, you are Trav. I usually am, yeah. Uh... Scrim is Voltar, and... <laughs> Welcome back, Scrim, to that. <laughs> and Onyx is Deliverance. Logan's Deliverance. Oh, nice. Good. Congrats. Yeah, I've really moved up in the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our cameras got mix- mixed up because Travs had a BRB, maybe, so... Maybe if I do... Oh, okay, wait, I this can't... sort of works. I was like, I can't do a German accent. Come on. <laughs> like, she had the low ball. I there. had another one. I had another one. Okay, so I've got Deliverance and Onyx okay, but then I've got Paige's Fritz right now, so. Great. Just deal, guys. Just <laughs> <Great>. deal. <laughs> Live TV, folks. Yeah. 
So, but, huh? yeah. Yeah, welcome back, Scrim. <laughs> You're mute. You're mute. Can't hear you if you're talking. <laughs> ah! Yay! Hey. Live <laughs> Twitch <God>. streaming. <laughs> Did my camera mess you up as well a little bit? No. No, no, no. Uh, Trav okay, had to sign nice. off because he was having problems with his mic. Cool. So, uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Well, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Scrim, and I play Deliverance. I'm joining the anarchy here. Um, I am not entirely sure what has happened in the last four to five minutes, but uh, <laughs> last week at some point, uh, we were, uh, you know, trying to take down an evil plot to poison the youth of Detroit, and uh, all seemed pretty cut and dried until uh, someone pushed someone else out of a, out of a van. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> what are we not gonna bend? <laughs> I'm not really sure how we're gonna work together now, but uh, <laughs> should be interesting. <laughs> I mean, we sort of like fast forwarded part past that, and you're like relatively cool. You at least gave me access to your phone while yeah. you were away. Oh, did I? Yeah, yeah. just basically because you're in the middle of healing um, Fritz mm. in, at Route 66, and then you you were like, oh, finally Voltar got back to you guys, and you're like. Onyx, please let her know where we are. And then Onyx couldn't ping. Yeah, your phone was too big for him. And he was like, why is this so big? And you were like, just, <laughs> oh my God, just press the thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> but right. you can't break away from healing Fritz right now. So it's like, mm. um, hmm. so you told him, tell Route 66, Voltar got the message, Voltar's on her way. Cool, good. So let's fast forward to that so we can have things happen. Voltar arrives Thanks. at Route 66. I did think I, the text messages were like root 66 and then root 6 D6 and then yeah. the comic book store <laughs> that I own. <laughs> yeah, I feel like getting all those messages, Walter would be like, someone else has their phone. So when she, <laughs> so when she enters, she uh, has her like Eskimo 6 drawn and like ready. <laughs> oh, and I got an extra edge? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Morgan. What yes. up? Thanks, y'all. Uh, okay, so just be to to set the scene, we are in Route 66. I'm helping Fritz out. Uh, Onyx is there using my phone, my yeah. comm, and uh, and Voltar just walked in. Yep. Got Ready it. To beat up somebody. Got it. Okay. Uh, hi, Voltar. <laughs> I just imagine seeing like Fritz on the ground. He just probably gives like a nonchalant wave, mm. <laughs> yeah. and then she just goes, "What happened?" And she twirls her Eskimo sticks and puts them into her sheath at her waist, and then she'll like death glare Onyx. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, it was it's my fault. I I am so I, I'm so sorry. Who are you? My, I'm Onyx. Hi. Nice to meet you. Do you hold out your hand to shake her hand? Yes, absolutely. She takes it. She has a very, very strong grip for someone so petite. Is it cold? Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> Onyx <laughs> looks pretty strong, but that is a cold, clammy hand. <laughs> um, he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> I imagine she's just like... All right. Like She takes back her hand and... <laughs> she'll keep him in mind uh, she'll kind of look him up and down and walk towards uh, her two friends and she'll look at Fritz and then look at Deliverance and she goes details please um, so I think Deliverance will give her like the full lowdown of, uh, of the job um, and uh, say I, I think we're going to need a little extra help because this is a big big cover up and we've got a whole lot of uh, I don't know we might have a whole lot of people on our tail so if you're in for this one that would be real helpful to, for us to wrap this up with your your help of course I have been bedridden for about a week I am ready to kick some ass oh are you sick honey just a few rubber bullets to my stomach isn't oh. good no, that that uh, that's not what the doctor ordered at all. Okay, well I'm glad you're <laughs> you're good. You're on the mend. You're okay. I am fine. She she doesn't look fine. She looks angry. 
<laughs> she looks uh, she looks a little like there's something else on her mind other than the job itself. Mm. Um her also her tone is a little off. It's a little more aggressive. But she seems fine physically. Yeah, who who shot you? The submarine guys. <laughs> that was the whole session. <laughs> yeah. Oh the, oh the submarine guys! Yeah. Oh yeah, they <laughs> sucked. They are the worst. Sorry about <laughs> Huey. Yeah, that whole Hey, did you ever figure out with with the guy and the thing, the guy who who like thought the Felix guy? I No. Hmm. Too bad. Best to forget about it. And she doesn't look pleased at that sentence at all. <laughs> like someone told her to do that and she's just repeating it in like a mocking tone, even though her tone isn't mocking. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know, would, would deliverance pick up on that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe? You've been yeah. with her for how long now? I guess, yeah. She's pretty perspective. Perceptive. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Alright, okay. Well, I mean, if you need to uh, get something out, let me tell you, we got some real evil dudes here. These guys are uh, are poisoning kids and trying to profit off it, so... Worst of the worst. You... I'm assuming you told her that it was... Uh, downtown. Like, deep downtown. Yeah, yeah, that's where it all started. Um... Yeah, she basically kind of shakes her and she goes, What do you expect from a complete covered... Aries location. Can I, from the from the knowledge that she gave me, can I roll my like corporate politics knowledge? Sure. Or use that to my advantage. Sure, sure, sure. I don't know how I do that. I don't have. Oh, you don't. That. You don't. Yeah, that's uh, what I thought. <laughs> you, you know corporate politics now. Um, so, what in particular are you? And as because it's your knowledge skill, you also get to use it to tell a piece of the story as well, if you want. But you could also just ask a question to um, either me or the audience. I kind of want to. I'll ask the audience. Audience, what would uh, Bloodworthy have to do with Aries politics? I'm curious about that. Um, also, underground criminals, are they also involved in some way? Yes, yes, they are. I have that as my knowledge skill, too. So, um, I'm going to, and so for, for that, since chat, I'm leaving it to you to find out what Bloodworthy is working, who he's working with in corporate politics. And um, for the underground thing, I'm going to say that there are many organizations that are. Underground criminals that are uh, <laughs> that are delivering, <laughs> yeah, that are delivering like this special sauce to these schools, like that's all black-handed type of thing. That's yeah. obviously yeah. like well known. So um, uh, here's here's what I'll give you. Um, the so the from the description you got these these guys were um, the two. Okay, so there were four conspirators. One was the principal of the school. One was James Bloodworthy, the superintendent. And then two of them were these, like, elves that were, that appeared to be pushing product. And um, from your knowledge, um, you're able to deduce that the elves are tied to the uh, local mafia ring. Ooh. You remember the Greek? Oh god, that kid? That no, kid that I moved father. down the nose and he was his like, father. you better not touch me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his father, the Greek. Okay. The guy that runs the mob. Good. Those elves are in league with him. Great. Ooh. Those elves were fun to play. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, we had more fun being NPCs last time than. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Those were great. The only one who was pizza and evil. You know, that's. Uh... <laughs> I just love how nonchalant they were about it. Like, I think we actually. <laughs> we also um, broke some kind of record for the number of people in a single conversation who all liked pineapple on pizza. 
<laughs> I don't think it's ever that. happened that four people have agreed on pineapple on pizza. Before. Oh my god, it's the best. <laughs> Right? Oh my gosh, five of us! Five. Yeah, we're broken up again! I love it. Amazing. Travis is um, the only person that hates it. <laughs> um, so, all right, so you know that much. They're, they're tied to the Greek. Um, and... What else, what else, what else? I've got two suggestions for Bloodworthy, by the way. Okay. Which both of them mean nothing to Paige. So, uh, former RD specs from Ares, and then Bloodworthy is a Illuminati. That's not how you say it, Illuminati. Illum. Al- <laughs> I can read, guys. Illuminati. I don't even see the Illuminati signature. Alumni. Alumni. It's, uh, Raven. Alumni. <laughs> He's an Illuminati of the there. Ares. I was like, what? <laughs> Illuminati? There. This is getting even <laughs> deeper. Deeper. How deep does this go? <laughs> we, uh, we've got a lot of pineapple support from chat. Yeah. Really oh, yeah. yeah, pineapple support? <laughs> <laughs> yes, team oh, pineapple. Um, yes. Okay. So I'll leave it to you, Oz, because I don't know. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Um, I'll go that he is an alumni, Grayman, alumni of Aries College. Um, and so you have corporate politics, so I, yeah. can, um, the, the only reason that you can think, so Aries makes a, Aries makes a really good profit off of its private schools. Um, they, they teach, um, they teach a bunch of children to be future perfect corporate citizens in downtown and, um, and given that they have such a huge hand in city politics and that generally most of the money gets funneled into downtown than it does on the outer areas of Detroit, um, you would think maybe uh, just basically Aries doesn't want to deal with Aries is looking out for its bottom line maybe and just doesn't want to um, support the public school system anymore. And so they, but they need a they need a good um, they need a good excuse mm. okay. because that's it's really like bad PR. Or, to go to to close this. <laughs> well, it would be Dark, very bad man. PR. Yeah. Um, yeah, Voltar will reiterate that to everybody that's like such this. extreme links to go to <laughs> when well, you are a higher corporation what else think of and uh from what i could tell the principal himself was pretty uh pretty heavy on the side of of handing this stuff out to the kids i think he's getting personal kickbacks too so uh yeah, I think my guess is he he had the idea and they thought they saw the profit and ran with it. But um, and and Deliverance is uh, is kind of getting like she's sort of like getting worked up. She's like shifting from foot to foot and she's like she's like mad. Um, she says, "Well, I, you know, we, we gotta we gotta take care of this. This is we gotta get these guys." Oh, sorry. It's, it's kids. I, I mean, they're poisoning kids. I, Poison kids. This bullshit. It is a little dark. Yes. <clears throat> All right. Um. All right. We agree. So, Drugging uh, children is bad. That's good. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All the same. Let's, let's, let's pizza at... is good. All right. So. <laughs> So let's start looking at the. Uh, let's start looking at your your next steps. How do you want to? Right. How do you want to resolve this? So your job was to dig around um, his office. However, uh, Deliverance, you do know that um, Bloodworthy himself was given a data chip that has all of the incriminating evidence on him. You also know that Onyx uh, fed in the pizzas that were delivered to their office uh, RFID trackers that are currently um, 
that currently are showing the locations of the four conspirators across the city. So you have a couple of leads you can follow. You can follow Bloodworthy, you can follow the two elves, or you can follow the principal. Uh, Palmer also pointed out in chat a while back that we could get back inside the wall with those secret pizza tunnels mm -hmm. that were established last episode. What? Pizza <laughs> delivery tunnels. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. I had a I had a thing for that. But that's okay. Um, I'm, I mean, there were there were I, already pizza delivery tunnels established. I'm not gonna waste a glitch die then. <laughs> like, um, but I, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna I'll contact I'll contact Gage because right now she doesn't want to speak to her father. Um, if she has clearance to go into downtown with being being with Ares, unless she's very underground that I don't know of. You wanna, I'm sorry, repeat that? I was taking care of something. That's fine. Um, she'll contact Gage to see if she has clearance to go into downtown. Cause don't you have to have like some sort of clearance? To be in a you definitely have clearance to go downtown. Thing? You can go, yeah. you can go and come as you please. That's what I thought, okay. Unlike um, everyone else, everyone else is scrubs. <laughs> Get good, guys. <laughs> um, they got the pizza tunnels. What more do yeah, I need? Yeah, mean? they they can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't really want to bring it up. Um, yeah, I mean, your cover wasn't necessarily blown. You can go back in as pizza delivery people. Yeah. Or a pizza um, marketer, pizza street pizza market marketing. Gorilla marketing. Gorilla yeah. Market. Pizza street pizza gorilla marketers. I feel like that's something that I would learn in like government class, and like I'd write that down and be like, "That's fucking cool," and then it wouldn't be on the test. <laughs> um, <laughs> like it's that one of those little footnotes. Um, but yeah, uh, Walter will mention that they, I mean she can get in there easily, um, being part of Aries and whatever. So it sounds like more or less. Like, Walter would mention that more or less they, she would want to go after Bloodworthy. That's more speed, like, jobs. Like, she's usually going after people to beat them up for information, so. I'm fine with beating this guy up. Like, sure. Yeah, who isn't? <laughs> um, okay. You said you had, you had the two elves and you had the principal? You have the two elves that are involved with the mob, the principal that's involved with the school and in bed with Ares somehow, and then um, the superintendent. Okay, sorry, my mind went very dirty when you said in bed with Ares. Um, <laughs> with the entire student body. With the <laughs> the um, voluptuous student body. Oops. Oh dear. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, Walter will. Uh, Man, we don't have. It's hard not having. I'm thinking of like what Retro would do, and I was like, oh, I could hack this. And like, no, I can't. Nope. Um, <laughs> and Fritz is currently in, in yeah, bed rest, yeah. apparently. <laughs> yeah. Um, Valther will mention, like, if there's any way that we can get to the principal easily, that would be great. But the only way that she could think of is if we had a student of some kind to get in trouble and just <laughs> have him be in one location. Uh,. Deliverance kind of kind of. That's not. Nice. <laughs> she says, uh, "Your kid goes to school, don't they?" I think. Walter will look at Deliverance after Onyx says that. She goes, "You have kids." <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> and she uh, she claps a hand on Onyx's shoulder and squeezes <laughs> way too tight. <laughs> it's like I think he just goes down just like, <laughs> like <me. laughs> uh, well I think I think we probably could find a way in um, besides uh, uh, involving any miners <laughs> yeah oh, uh, of course yeah no that was uh, yeah we could just pose as a student or something 
Walter, it uh, looks like all three of them at this moment. Yes, of course. Yes. Deliverance who looks like like a rough 40. <laughs> Voltar, who's like it's mostly chrome. <laughs> and uh, and the Oni, who would not stand out at all. Uh, I'm really, I'm With dad cool. clothes on. I can, <laughs> I can do this. There's chinos and polo. On, I, I, can totally, I can totally be missing it first. I mean, you know. It's like you look like a dad who's shopping for their four kids at a supermarket. I mean, no too. offense. <laughs> yeah, no, I really cultivated this dad look. I can't really, <laughs> can't really be mad about it. Well, I, we might be able to figure out a way in. Uh, I have some, I have some connections. Um, and uh, I think we can, we can figure something out. Uh, I will. I will get in touch with the school. I mean, they're closed right now. Um, it's summer school. It's, it's yeah. So su yeah, summer school always starts there. on a Monday, I think. So that's like t tomorrow. How about yeah. sure? That's tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> <laughs> only been kissed Nutrid coming this fall. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's genius. <laughs> um, yeah, and she's like. Uh, yeah, just let me work something out, and, uh, how about y'all meet me at the school tomorrow morning, bright and early, 8 o'clock. Okay. Fair enough. All right. All right. So, it was, was it, have we advanced the days? Because if there was any downtime, Onyx would have, um, gotten a get well soon card for Fritz. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> yeah, you could get it. You, you you can easily walk down the street to the stuffer shack and get a get well soon card. Yeah. Does it have like a puppy on it that's like making big bubble eyes? Well, of course it does. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like flowers. And it's, what other kind? Maybe of it's like a sorry card instead of a get well soon card, and, and then I just signed it like sorry, I kicked you out of my van. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I want that to be on like a cake. <laughs> like I in frosting. I mean, Onyx is pretty extra. Maybe it is on a cake. <laughs> oh, do so it. Gets yeah, cake. Okay. It's, it's on a cake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, um, and what is it that you wanted to take care of, Deliverance? Mm, okay, so Deliverance is going to... Hmm, damn it, I wish Fritz was here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, so basically what she wants to do is enroll Amy in summer school, but then show up the next day and be like, and be like, uh, there was a mistake. I have to uh, take her off the, and like take her off the list and then do a, like, get in that way. Be like a, that demanding parent who's like, getting all mad about some mm. dumb thing. Right, but currently yeah. Fritz is undisposed. Mm, so, unfortunate. indisposed. Uh, indisposed. So, okay, Soy Mage did post the PTA are gonna show up at school. Uh, we could pose as PTA people. We could pose as PTA folks. What, remind me of the PTA? Parent, Parent teacher, teacher association. association. Right, okay, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, I was homeschooled. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Mage wasn't. Mage just doesn't know terms. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I want to, because uh, chat's talking about Bridget, and I want to bring Bridget in somehow, for you sure. Have Bridget, like, be in summer plot point. Bridget's yeah. in summer school. Yeah. She in trouble. So she's, like, already there. Bridget was okay. too focused on solving all the mysteries to pay attention to her schoolwork, so she doesn't. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then she got in trouble. Getting in hot water. She's <laughs> tired every morning because she's pouring over surveillance tapes. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna. I have. T I have. I have two. I'm gonna use another plot point. I'll use another plot point and say that um, Amy's your oldest, right? Hmm. Um, she's working with Bridget and everything. I'm gonna say that she's trying to bust Bridget out. Like of summer school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, being in trouble, worried that she might find Bridget's like information on their mysteries. Cracking this open. So she'll be there like doing something, even though she's technically not in summer school. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I, I didn't get that. 
Amy is okay. working against Bridget or with Bridget? With Bridget. I haven't with seen Bridget? last episode all the way through, so. <laughs> um, yeah, that makes sense with what I happened last, the last time. hour. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I think, I think like what I'm thinking of is uh, they're working together and Bridget has some information that's like just in her locker. Just like kind of out in the open enough for some like a normal someone could find it and be like, uh, what the hell is this? Um uh, and so okay. Amy's there to like try help her and bust her out. And I want that to be a thing, because yeah, I wanna yeah. see I wanna see how Amy would dodge her own mom <laughs> at the school. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um Yeah, let's go with the PTA thing. Uh yeah. from Soy Mage. Yeah. Show. Like there's like a meeting or something. Right. So the PTA so, meeting is going to be at um, 7 p.m. Okay. Okay. Just just as a point. Um, so Edge doesn't carry over, but plot points do. Nope. You start. You no. should have started with three. Start with three. Oh, I just okay. used two. And there's a maximum of five. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend a plot point. Uh, cut right. to Amy and Bridget. Hanging yes. out somewhere. Uh, Chad, where are they? Ha where would uh, these two girls, thirteen on a Sunday, be hanging out to like discuss after solving a mystery? How cool are they? How cool are they? Um, <laughs> I don't think I don't think Amy's very cool. I think Bridget's like a nerd. Mm. As like, think of all the spy like teen she's, spy novels we're just fucking very... harriet the spy you know she's wearing right. plaid yeah. skirt yeah yeah, cool. yeah. yeah. I see, I was... this goes all the way to the top <laughs> oh my god church is such a good setting i was I thinking like of like yeah i was thinking of like on the roof of some place smoking <laughs> like yeah they're not that's more amy than smoke. bridget style I think. that's what that's what i was thinking of like how cool <laughs> are they <laughs> quote unquote I like the church idea. Oh my god, getting slushies. Yes. Yeah. I'm taking that. Booth. Okay. <laughs> taking that. Okay. Getting slushies. All right, thank you to Gray cute. Man. Um, all right, so they are, so cut to the scene. Um, Bridget, um, I'll be Bridget. And then Deliverance, I know you like taking care of Amy. So, <laughs> um, actually wait. I have a better idea. Uh, Logan, would you like to be Bridget? Of course I'd love to be Bridget. <laughs> I, yes. have, I have someone else I can be. Cool. <laughs> All right. So, McHugh's slushies, go. Dis so, <laughs> last, last, yeah, last we left off, Amy had um, literally, like, oh my God. flushed all of the special sauce drugs down the drain. Can you, I'm sorry, can you use that as a prop in your scene, Onyx, please? That, That's that... exactly what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wouldn't just, can you just mic the prop. slush. <laughs> 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 um, Bridget, I tested it, I swear to God. That's exactly what it was. And I got rid of all of it. We don't have to worry about it anymore. But why would the school be giving us drugs? Fucking, because they're assholes. I don't know. Whoa. Oh, now we're we're swaying swears now. <laughs> oh come on, <laughs> you're so lame. <laughs> <laughs> she's like she's like laughing like you're like like it's, there's there's a friend vibe, but she's like yeah. oh my god, <laughs> language. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, I feel like this deserves a swear. Like, they're what? Giving us... Oh, maybe you're I think right. It was... maybe, this, maybe this is why cusses were invented. Exactly, I'm Bridget. I'm gonna say cuss. Good. Come on. Piss. <laughs> that does not count! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You just... You are ridiculous. Uh, plot point. Your your reverie is currently um, stopped as the door uh, the door opens, and you see your your the third person in your trio of 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 uh, detective crime fighters, um, Kimberly. The babysitters club. Kimberly, Kimberly so Amy's funny. friend, Amy's friend, who Deliverance absolutely cannot stand. Oh my God, she's a bad influence. She's the bad influence. Oh. 
<laughs> Kimberly. Okay. Yeah. Amy's she's got dyed hair. She's wearing um she's wearing school clothes, go Griffins. And um and she walks in and she's she kinda like she's she's a little off balance and she just plops down and says, Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Hi Kim, what's going on? I didn't know Kim Everything's was good. Come. Everything's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I uh, I invited her, Bridget. She she always comes to these things. Yeah, I always come to these I, things. I know you hate I, me, I, bitch. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, Bridget, I'm kidding. Bridget doesn't kidding. like that kind of language, no, Kim. No, 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 no. I'm just, <laughs> She's gonna tell on us. <laughs> I'm just busting her non-existent balls. It's okay. Hi. <laughs> Kim, what is? What is up? Are you? What's your deal right now? Why are you judging me? Uh, cause you're acting real weird. What are you doing? Are you? Are you? Are you drunk? You look at her. You look at her face. Like her pupils are dilated. Like this isn't drinking stuff. This is She's like. High. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think I don't know that Amy would be able to pick up on that. She would maybe guess like something kind of more. Not as bad, uh, bad as like alcohol. So, so she's kind of like, you're acting, you're just acting really weird. Have you, you like been drinking coffee, Bridget? Uh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, I look, I'm having a really. <sighs> I can't fucking stand summer school right now. And... Oh shit, you're in summer school? Yeah. Oh, that fucking sucks. Yeah. Sorry, Bridget. Yeah. Just <laughs> Look, I can't help it if there's a mystery every weekend and then I can't I, You know what? The the city needs me. <laughs> well, I mean <laughs> Okay, so what exactly have you found out, Bridget? Because yeah, what I mean, have you found out, Bridget. You're so hang smart. On. <laughs> Oz, you play such a good teenage girl. I love it. <laughs> I love Kimberly. I love this trio. <laughs> <laughs> like the best trio ever. Um, Can like these three just be these three girls? Like, <laughs> <laughs> can, what can I say that Bridget knows? Like, um. We have, we've tested this for sure, right? No, no, no. Yeah, because because Amy just told her, like, I tested it, it was yeah. drugs. It was... I also spent a plot point that Bridget has information that the school will most likely find out if she doesn't. If she's what? If they, if they, she doesn't get it. Like, it's in her locker. Like, she's like, oh, damn it. I forgot that I put that important card thing in my locker. Mm. I Wait, don't know. The note, <laughs> the, note, the note isn't here. It's, I've got a ripped out page. Why would I? What note? Oh. What does it say? Well, like it's, it's all the all the pe the teachers that I've seen picking up these packages. So, and documentation of when they did it. So, that must still be in my locker. We should go there right now. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? That's huge. It's not small. Oh my god. Do you have like do you have photos? Do you have do you have messages? Do you have I mean, is it just a list or no, do you have a detective else? girl? I stole the security footage, so yeah, in a way I do have Oh. See, I knew you were I knew you were a badass, Bridget. <laughs> yeah, the tape is also in the lock. Oh my god, what? <laughs> You have it on a tape? In your locker? You're a oh. fucking loser. Oh my god, Kim, calm down. Let's just let's just Don't tell just, me to calm okay. down. Yeah, you're you're being hey, a little no, bit no. bitchy, okay? You know what? Hey. Everybody everybody is being like really harsh with me right now, and I cannot even you, so, You're acting like my uncle. <laughs> what? He's always, I don't know, his eyes look different than everybody else's. Don't compare me to your uncle, Larry. <laughs> Larry's a deadbeat. 
Why? Why do you know yeah. my uncle's name? Everybody uh, knows about your stupid deadbeat uncle. Okay, so on drugs. Kim, Kim, you are being so mean. Okay, did you eat at the cafeteria today? Maybe. What's it to what you? Shit, Wait a I second. I got it all. All right, look, whatever, I'm out. If you need me or whatever, uh, don't bother. Bye. Just Did she stumbles, Come whatever, on. bye. Oh my God. Do you think she ate the drugs? Is it, I think, she I ate the know. drugs? I don't know, usually when she drinks, she just doesn't stop bragging about it the whole time. So, mm, I don't know, it doesn't, something's up. She might've, sorry. <laughs> That's my little brother. Like, <laughs> oh my god! He's running around in the convenience store. <laughs> Mom said, "Bring him." <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, well, whatever, Bridget. We have to get that yeah. chip from your locker. I mean, that stuff from your locker. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, all right. Well, let I, I have broken last night. We can do it again today. Okay. You know, today's day. Let's break into the shitting locker <laughs> okay you can't stop trying to cuss if you can't do it right you're so <laughs> excited, Bridget, <'cause> you're, <laughs> you're such a loser <laughs> <laughs> okay okay <laughs> all right so um, let's i i would love to do um would would deliverance onyx or voltar be interested in staking out the school on sunday voltar can cast she she I mean, yeah, Onyx skill. protect the school. I don't know how many people are. do we need. I think that Deliverance would stay home. I think she'd she'd be like, all right, uh, we'll, we'll do the PTA thing tomorrow, or are we doing it tonight? The well, PTA is when tomorrow does... at 7 p.m. Yeah. 7 p.m. Um, yeah, I think Deliverance would be like, okay, you guys collect some information, and I'll uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'll, I'll get in touch with you tomorrow night. I got some stuff I gotta take care of. Okay. So, uh... uh also, Scrim in real life has something to take care of. <laughs> I'll be back in like two minutes. Okay. Hey, Lysander is our stream boss. Hey, isn't that that guy from Very Random Encounters? Hey, Greg. Hey, yeah, it's Greg. It's Greg. Greg's our stream boss. So everyone gets a point of edge. Oh, yeah. Edge. I forgot. Oh, man, I ripped up my notebook to do that gag. <laughs> <laughs> it was well worth it. <laughs> my god. <laughs> like, I swear, I need like a one-off where it's just free <laughs> for you. <laughs> so, um, so tell you what, why don't we take a, why don't we take a five minute break? Or wait, uh, no, I guess we, we could, could do like a. We could do downtime. We could do the sneak time. No, we time. could do you guys. Yeah, if you guys are gonna, yeah, yeah. if you guys are gonna uh, do a stakeout of the school. Yeah. Yeah, and we plus we've never that. really talked. Then, like those two characters. Don't yeah, play. those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they need to get to know each other. Okay. So let's do that. Um, all right. So at the at the public school. You guys are, um, so Voltar and Onyx, it is, it's currently nighttime. Um, the, the idea of casing the school was mainly, um, just to ensure, just to see if what kind of movement is made during the weekends when there's like no trap, like there's low traffic, it's nighttime, um, and uh, basically feed the, uh, if this is happening, right? Like who's supplying the the stuff? So okay, shipment, basically, yeah. we're looking for shipment. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. So uh, tell me, how do you um how do you want to do your stakeout? I mean, we're I guess we'd be in the van, right? Like yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It's a really normal and not suspicious thing to just park a van all the time by a school. <laughs> totally. <laughs> is it like a is that a soccer mom van? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. that's what I thought. <laughs> then yeah, that's fine actually. <laughs> like 
Onyx is not yet a soccer dad, but he cannot wait. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's Until the, the twins are old enough to play some soccer <laughs> or whatever they want. I, you know, I'm not the, I'm not their boss. Whatever they, you know what? As long as they're happy, I'm happy. I imagine like, oh, oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm so, I'm sorry. I like amazing dads just get me. They're they're so adorable. Um. <laughs> But, um, she, uh, I imagine this is, like, the conversation where she goes, have a fan. And then he gives us this conversation where, like, I hope they get into soccer. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah, Onyx is giving you a lot of information. <laughs> <laughs> Including, like, pictures. Like, have I shown you all of them yet? Like, no. Oh, look, they're so beautiful. Look. They, they're cute. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine, like... You're just swiping on your phone. Yeah. <laughs> like, look at this so one. There's hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> you're show, yeah. Like, you're just you're proudly showing off all these pictures to like this metal woman. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. What is uh, I what does Onyx really look like physically? I got the soccer dad look, but <laughs> go on. Well, yeah, the clothing is like polos and khakis, but uh, I mean he's an oni. And, okay. Like, yeah, uh, they're they're like kunari. Dragon Age, right? Horns, right? Yeah, mm. and he's got like a like a gray, dark gray yeah, ash skin, and um, like a slightly light. I think we said lighter gray horns. Yeah. So a less threatening Kunari. Like very, very <laughs> demon-like, like just yeah. pointing okay. straight up. I okay. feel like his horns are like a little rounded. They're, they don't look like they can hurt. I find it a little rounded the backwards, <laughs> but like, yeah. but still, cute little, very, cute little horns. Yeah. Look very, they look very demonic. And then just a like a light blue, light blue polo and some khakis. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Walter is a completely cyber. Her eyes, her skin, body, whatever. Um, she's in basically like black jeans with a uh, like a Letterman jacket that's kind of leathery, and it has like the Aries logo on her sleeve and the Spartan helmet on the back. Um, so cool. <clears throat> Yeah, she looks awesome. <laughs> Got, like <laughs> steel-toed boots, uh, probably gloves. But um, and her she like on her waist she has like her escrima sticks, and then on her thigh is her uh, Aries predator. Um, yeah, you're <laughs> yeah yeah Palmer. Here's them with the bunnies. <laughs> 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 yeah. This um, whole thing, this whole thing is because I want to get them bunnies. I really. I heard that they are difficult to handle. I am not good with animals. They don't like my skin. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Walter just kind of like stares at the uh, <laughs> so This is normal. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, so, sorry? I guess I won't show any more bunny pictures. It doesn't offend me. I just can't touch them that often. I am also too strong. You can't, like, pet something? No, I, no delicate movements? I can <laughs> try, but normally I end up breaking something. I broke four, five bowling balls. Oh man, I really thought you were gonna finish that sentence with bunnies, and I was like, and <laughs> I was just about to cry, and I'm really glad that I waited on to the end. I am sorry. No. Oh no, it was great. I haven't. Are we gonna get a Fritz? Oh no. I, the, I see the little loading circle, and yes. I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh. oh, all right. Ah. Anyway. But uh, yeah, Walter. She uh, she looks at like you put away your comling, and she goes, "So you have kids?" <laughs> I, yes. Now, yes. <laughs> I, all all two hundred of those pictures were my my children. <laughs> they were some random kids. <laughs> um, stock she, photos. She kind of like pauses for a little bit, staring at the. Would you change them in any way because they wanted to? It, if they if they wanted to, 
Yes. I mean, we would have a conversation about anything that they wanted to do drastically to their body, but it, any if if it's really who they are, or who they want to be, I wouldn't. I mean, I would. I wouldn't stop them from finding their truth and living their life. That's good. Walter shows, like, real human emotion for just, like, five minutes. <laughs> and she doesn't look at the school. She just kind of looks out the window for a long time. Do you only have the two? So far, they're, they're quite a handful, so... We're not really planning for any more, but I, I wouldn't rule it out. You must be proud of them. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, yes. They're my whole, they're my whole world. I kicked a guy out of a van for him. <laughs> you kicked a guy out of your. He's trying to break into your van. No, we, was that not clear? <laughs> uh... Wait, you mean Fritz? Yeah. You kicked Fritz out of your van for them. Yeah. Were yeah. they in the van? No, it was, uh, he'd been compromised in that last run, and, um, I was worried I was never going to get to see them again. So, I dealt oh. with it. I feel really bad about it. I immediately went and, and rescued both of them, but... Did you? I... <laughs> Walter doesn't know that. <laughs> I mean, in Onyx's mind, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I still feel really bad about it. I... I'm sure Fritz understands. Yeah, uh, like in a weird 100% way. Like he was just totally on board with getting kicked out of a van. <laughs> As long as it was for kids, I don't, I mean, yeah, I feel, I, it seems like I feel worse about it, to be honest. Does Deliverance really have kids? Um, I don't, maybe you should ask her. I certainly don't know that for sure. You don't know that for sure, meaning she has hinted at the option? Or the she idea? She hasn't hinted at it. I just sort of, I, I mean, like, I'm I'm a dad, and I sort of picked up on some stuff she was putting down, so. What sort of stuff were you picking up? I don't know, just a, a general look of worry whenever children were a, possibly in danger. Uh, a very specific sort of look that I've experienced, like, every single day of my life since those kids came into my life. Flashback to Onyx going, no, 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 don't pick up the woodchip, don't pick up the woodchip. <laughs> it's kind of specific. I wouldn't know. Well, I mean, it's, you know, it's in your power to, you know, make, just get some kids. It, like, we, we adopted... You can do it, too. <laughs> I don't think kids like me. I am not in the position for kids. Hey, I, was, I you can also choose not to have kids. I, I'm not trying to force you into anything. That's... <laughs> I just did, I mean, anybody can... You know, you're probably right. Let's... <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to bully you into having kids. I don't want you to feel like that. I don't. <laughs> Plot point to Fritz. Uh, for taking a <laughs> shot. Oh. <laughs> um. Rewarding drinking. No, it's not working. Can't You're hear still you. mute. Still mute. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, that look oh, is so... Oh. Are you sure? 
Oh, oh, yeah. oh, hey, oh, hey. Hey. oh man, that's like that one. That's like that one face I had. Hey, we're, and we got uh, Nick Morgan as our stream boss. We all get a point of edge. Oh, my God. Everyone Nick is be giving bits edge. for Travis's terrible night. Thank you for all I'm of the cheers, Nick Morgan, Grayman, Eric DeMage. I've been meaning to thank you, but there's some role play stuff going. And Palmer. Um, all right, so um, here's so K. Um, in the middle of this conversation, I'm going to spend a plot point. Um, oh. Onyx looks out the window and sees uh, that sees two figures approaching the school. Meanwhile, Fritz, you're getting a you're getting a ping off of the RFID trackers that um, the one that's in the principal's body is also moving towards the school. And like it's you, Onyx and Voltar, um, you see like headlights approaching the school in the distance, like down coming down the street. And it seems to match up with what um, with what's on Fritz's locator. Can I spend a plot point of to course. say, Travis, this is okay with you, that Tra uh, Fritz stayed at 66 where Deliverance was helping him out, and she's there with him. Um, she's, like, taking care of the store. Sure. Like, in proximity. <laughs> <laughs> that was such, like, that a non- sounds, like... That sounds lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, but... hey, you're here now. Let's get peppy. <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I've had. I, I'm on my second shot. No, we're getting pep. The shot is buffering. <laughs> oh, your mic died again. Oh, boy. <laughs> These tech difficulties, though. <laughs> it's been one of those nights. Is there any other mic that you can use if you do sound like shit at the end of the day? Not even like a pair of headphone mics? I mean, that's going to sound horrible, but... <laughs> so here's here's what we'll it's do. not working at all. There, there you go, go. it's yeah. working. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you um, go. Yeah. It's not for long. It's I'm not gonna, gonna be fucking, too long. I'm gonna fucking so. kill myself. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> I just want to play this uh, this Wilhelm scream over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, my voice acting career is apparently at an end with this fucking shit. Um, wah, wah. That's why I'm. That's why I'm fucking pissed off. Anyway, yeah. while it's working, yeah, Fritz is at fucking the comic book shop. And uh, there's some shitty old fucking computer that he's like, why is this thing not working? <laughs> like and, uh, yeah. recovering, like... recovering from hitting pavement at 50 miles an hour. We just talked about that. We just talked about how uh, Onyx kicked you out of the car and Walter was very like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, principal is approaching the school while two small um, figures that... Um, Onyx, you can sort of make out as um, teenage girls are approaching. Um, uh, I, what were we supposed to do at this part of the stakeout? Like, this is the action <laughs> part, but like, I just, I just knew about the the talking to each other and like developing our characters part. <laughs> that is very breaking the fourth wall. Uh... <laughs> so, um. So this is where you um, observe slash report. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Volta uh, will mention to Deliverance. God, I was about to call you Turbo, and I was like, "That's not right. That's not right." <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> um, the uh, Deliverance about they that they see the principal car and two others that don't look adult. So you pass that on to her yep. over comms? Yep. All right. Um, what are they doing? Are they just are they just outside the school? Are they hanging out? Are they trying to get in? Are they... Yeah, what, what are they doing, Oz? 
All of them. All three of them. Oh, they're... I think um, Onyx. Hmm? Onyx will send out a drone just so I can get a better look. Yes. Perfect. Um, yeah, so your your fly spy, um, you see them, um, you you can get you get an image that you can uh, live feed, live stream to Deliverance and Fritz and Voltar. Yeah, just in case this is a person of interest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so um, uh, Deliverance and Fritz, you see um, uh, you see Amy. You both recognize Amy, and uh, <laughs> Deliverance. You reckon Fritz? Uh, Fritz wouldn't know the girl that um, she's with, but she's like in a plaid skirt and looks like she's ready to solve crime. Um, <laughs> Holding a camera. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, but Deliverance, you recognize? Uh, you recognize that's Bridget. Um. And, and they're uh, breaking into the school. <laughs> Deliverance, like grabs Fritz's arm and, and is like looking at the at the display the screen whatever and is like oh god oh god that's that's Amy oh my god what how is she messed up in this oh my god I, we have to I have to go I have to go uh yeah 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 um and she like bolts out <laughs> yeah he he immediately calls Amy as silhouette <laughs> Your mom's after you. You gotta yeah. go. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Amy has like Amy and Bridget are there, and Amy has like her duct taped homemade deck, and is trying to hack the locks. Like she's trying to like get it when she gets the call. And then like Fritz yeah. just pops up in her in her feed. He pops up. <laughs> he pops up. This is very dangerous work you're doing. You know this. What? How do you? What? How did you find? What's going on? Um. Well, hi, uh, whatever, Victor. whatever you're doing, he's uh, obviously dangerous because uh, somehow we're all mixed up in it as well. What? You? What? I don't. You don't need to know about anyone else involved. What you knew, do need to know is that somehow your mother understands that you are doing very, very dangerous things, oh, and honestly, as a friend I'm telling you you need to stop this is very dangerous and you're messing with people who you do not want to mess with you don't understand they're 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 fucking with our school they're they're feeding us stuff it, we have to get we have to get them we have to stop it yes me and a group are working on it at the moment you are not a trained professional like we are. You're not there yet. Maybe after you get some sort of training and aren't risking your life before it's even begun, let it go, because we will not. You understand? They drugged my friend, and she she closes it down. Or I don't know if she even can do that. She tries to like close down the call and keeps hacking the door. Um, at this point, you see the... Um... Amy and Bridget see the principal uh, get down from his from his car, this burly orc, and he's going to uh, and he's like he's in casual slacks and a polo, and he's just basically like harumphing, humming um, <laughs> to himself, swinging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, grabs his big set of of keys and uh, and walks in through the um through the front door um and and i think that yeah so he he disappears into the building while uh amy and, and bridget are are ducking in um, bushes somewhere baltar will, will um ask onyx if he sees any guy because she'll try Taking into the building, obviously. Unless you can get your, one of your drones into the building and follow the principal, she's going to tag or tail principal man. Yeah, I, I don't think I can... I mean, the door is closed again, so I, th I think this is going to be you. She, uh, she'll uh, sneak out of the van and kind of... Uh... But, like, leave the door open a little bit, then I can put a drone in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, she'll um, she'll run up to the building, and obviously the front doors are going to be locked. So she's going to swing her way around to the back door. 
Um, now that I'm thinking about it, isn't Amy and the others are there? Maybe I shouldn't. Do that. Yeah, Amy. Well, Amy. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, you. Well, you know that Amy and Bridget are hiding in the bushes nearby. Yeah, Paige knows. Amy's um, still working on the door. Baltar, too. we know this too. Yeah, we watched them. Oh yeah, that's true. Then yeah, I guess she she doesn't care. <laughs> she'll uh, <laughs> she'll uh, she'll try going into the uh, back door and uh, instead of like uh, securities, security things, it's gonna have like fucking like if I break into the lock, unless it's one of those like old. Plot point, my last plot point. Oh no, I have two. Uh, I will I will say that the school is very like It's clear that it's an Ares facility, but they don't give it that much love. Like it's clearly from like decades ago. Like mm -hmm. all the lockers are the same, all the My high school was like it was stupid. Mm -hmm. But um the security is basically kind of the same. So Baldur's gonna know that like if she physically breaks into this, it's not gonna alert. Um, so she tries it, and it's locked, and then she just <laughs> kicks it. <laughs> she kicks the handle. <laughs> okay. Alright, so you bust, um, open the, you bust open the door and get into the school. So we, I just... What is Amy's reaction to this? Like, shit, there's a person, and then she just kicks it <laughs> out the door. <laughs> yeah, I think her, her... Like, she just, like, freezes and watches in awe as this, <laughs> like, chrome woman is like... <laughs> What's Bridget doing? Her fingers what hovered, the, hovered what over the her. What the dookie head. was that? <laughs> oh my god, that lady is a made of metal. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. I want to be made of When I grow Stop up, I want to be made of metal. <laughs> oh, oh god. I think, I think Bridget throws a book into the door. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's amazing. Perfect. Just slides perfectly. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Yeah. All right. All right. Does uh, so. Walter hear this at all? Um, give me a perception test. Okay. <laughs> da, 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 da. What is perception again? Logic, Logic and... and willpower. Well, I'm not very smart with uh willpower. Three successes. Ooh. Damn. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you yes, you hear uh, you hear something scuttling in, taking advantage of, of the door that you've broken into. Um, Walter will, uh, hide behind the corner and keep an ear out of the people that were behind her. Um, and, like, when they're close, she'll just kind of turn around the corner and she goes, what are you here? <laughs> ah! <laughs> And they like, like grab Bridget... each other, like. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like when Bridget screams, Mulder just puts a hand over her mouth, and she goes, "You need to be quiet, sneaking don't and hurt her. Don't fire. don't hurt her. I'm not going to harm any of you. I am simply telling you, teenage girl, to leave. You don't understand. Why are you here? Yeah, this is our case. I'm sorry, case." <laughs> She looks at Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> We're just about to break this thing wide open. I've been what? working on this for months. What case are you working on? The drugs in the, the food. Are you? They're drugging our friends. What do you know of it? Wait, Bridget. We don't know who she is. She might be on our side. Yeah, we don't know nothing. What are you talking about? You shouldn't yeah. be breaking in. We're gonna call the police. Absolutely and have you be in trouble as well for breaking in? It'll be our word against the metal ladies. Yeah, you clearly Princess. are. <laughs> <laughs> you are the one who doesn't belong here. Maybe I just forgot my homework. And yeah, you're breaking into the school. Your alibi is very, very bad. We didn't. Yeah, you broke it. Is Amy holding her to her deck? <laughs> Yeah. She, like, looks at the deck and looks at Amy. <laughs> she, like, hides it behind her back and then she's <laughs> on the keyboard. She's like, what? <laughs> you uh -huh. two should leave. Call the cops if you must. However, I believe that if you are working on this case, so am I. Maybe we could 
together. After all, it sounds like you have information that I... Okay, I'm, I'm up for a team up. Okay, what do you know, though? I don't know if you're... Whose side are you on? There is a man named Floodworthy that is running this organization. Your principal has shown up to... The, I your, am... Your, I, your microphone's really, like, cutting out a lot. Oh, is it? Yeah. Um... I don't know what to tell you. It's in your settings. You gotta you gotta do a thing. Um, but anyway, where? How do I do a thing? <laughs> uh, to, okay. You so, need a tech break. I think yes. Yeah. I think we do need a tech break. Let's take a let's take yeah. a let's take a. You know what? Let's call it ten. Might be more than five. Yeah. yeah might be a ten. Let's do it ten minutes because I think we could probably use a ten minute break. Thank you, audience, for sticking with us throughout all these yeah. technical difficulties. We love you. Stay yeah. tuned. Love you. It's beautiful. <laughs>